Nasarawa State Governor Tanko Almakura. Our reactions continue to trail the resolutions made at the recently concluded National Conference. The Chairman Presidential Advisory Committee on National Conference, Femi Okuromu, points out that efforts made to increase the revenue of the state government is pointed out that efforts made uh, to increase the revenue of the state government is one of the achievements made at the conference. However, a public analyst, Mr. Bola Bakari, believes that creation of new states is not in the interest of the nation's unity. Nigerians were very happy for selfish reasons when they muted the fact that uh, they were looking at a situation of 18 new states that is going to impoverish Nigeria. Because some people are going to make money out of it. The wage bill is going to increase. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at little things. I'm looking at governance from the grassroots, governance from the LGs. It is agreed that there are 9 million people in Kano State. Kano State has 44 LGAs, local governments. It is agreed that Lagos State has 9 million. There are 20 LGAs in Lagos. Right along with me, look at the disparity. But what I'm saying in essence is, I would have expected that house to say, okay, let's tow the line of Kano State. For 9 million and 44 LGAs, it's tantamount to be about 200,000 plus people making up an LG. If we make that into the basis of an LG, translate it all over Nigeria, then we have a parity check that is even. Contrary to what he has said, we have strengthened local governments and made them really local. We have strengthened local governments in the sense that, first of all, no, gov no governor, from what we have decided now, can just dissolve a local government or appoint caretaker committee to go and run the local government. We have made that impossible. Local governments must be elected, must be run by elected people. Any local government that is not run, the work whose members are the chairman is not elected, will not be entitled to any for that location. They will be, be starved of funds. These are some of the ways we have strengthened local governments. Now, it made reference to the incongruities in the kind of having so many local governments, they got having so many, in spite of almost equal population. We have addressed that issue. How did you address that? We addressed that issue by saying that somebody cannot just sit in Abuja. I'll be creating local government for Kano, for Lagos, for each, for each of the states. It, 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 no, it doesn't make sense. Oh. It's only the local people, the governor, who is in charge of the states, and who is in touch with his people, that can say, tell where the people want local government, where they need local governments, where local governments will be useful. We have delisted local governments from the Constitution. So the That's Constitution can no longer say the Kano has so many local governments, I'm beginning to list them. All that will be removed. We have given the, the federal government only 48% in terms of revenue sharing, about 47.5%. And the remaining 52.5% goes to the states. I say it goes to the states because the revenue sharing now, by what we have decided, is purely between the federal government and the federating units.